Today, we're going to take a look at Yom Teruah, which you may know as the Feast of Trumpets. The reason for this feast is largely unknown, but the picture becomes clearer when you look at it in Hebrew. Fresh. Bob. This is Ruah, the root word for Teruah. The letters are Resh, Vav, and Ayin. Resh is a picture of a man's head. Vav is a peg used to join the curtains to the pillars of the tabernacle, and it means and. And there's the Ayin. This word Ruah means to shout, to sound an alarm, to make a battle cry. Teruah is the sound itself, the sound of an alarm, and of a shout, and of a battle cry. Teruah is an extremely loud sound that when you hear it, you will turn your head, resh, and vav, pay attention, ayin. And when father hears it, he turns his attention to you. In the wilderness, father instructed Moses to make two silver trumpets to make the sound of teruah. Those trumpets had other uses, but when they made the sound of teruah, it was for two specific occasions. It's written that the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Make two silver trumpets. Of hammered work you shall make them, and you shall use them for summoning the congregation and for breaking camp. And when both are blown, all the congregation shall gather themselves to you at the entrance of the tent of meeting. But if they blow only one, then the chiefs, the heads of the tribes of Israel, shall gather themselves to you. When you blow a teruah, the camps that are on the east side shall set out. And when you blow a teruah the second time, the camps that are on the south side shall set out. A teruah is to be blown whenever they are to set out. And when the assembly is to be gathered together, you shall blow a long blast, but you shall not ruah. And the sons of Aaron, the priests, shall blow the trumpets. The trumpets shall be to you for a perpetual statute throughout your generations. And when you go to war in your land against the adversary who oppresses you, then you shall ruah with the trumpets, that you may be remembered before the Lord your God, and you shall be saved from your enemies. So teruah is a sound that when the people heard it, they knew he was telling them it was time to move camp. And in battle, teruah is a sound he wants his people to make so he can hear them and remember them and save them. We make this sound as a call for the salvation that he has already promised, as a call for Yeshua. Once a year we are to remember this because there's a future day of Teruah that is yet to come, when Yeshua tells those who are with him it's time to move, and the armies of heaven follow him to this earth. And in that same day he gathers all nations to battle in a time of war from which we will be saved. After this Yom Teruah, which is to come, he will reign as king here on earth forever.